in this session we shall be going in for electronic two position controller two position controller means that the output is either zero or maximum v naught as you may call it in case of op amps it is normally vcc taken as equal to y 5 volt so this kind of two position control is uh, applied many places we have discussed this earlier also in one of the sessions but we shall be repeating it like in case of geysers or in case of acs last time we discussed the example of geyser this time i shall be discussing the example of ac uh, what happens in a room ac you take the set point as let us say 25 degrees celsius and the ac is on the temperature ambient temperature of the room is let us say 33 degrees celsius because the ac is on the temperature goes on dropping from let us say it becomes 30 degree then 25 degree and so on and so forth the moment it becomes 25 the ac should turn off now the moment it turns off after let us say 5 minutes or so the temperature will rise and if we do not have any adjustment in the temperature the ac will again turn on at 25.1 degree celsius the ac will turn on and after 1 minute or so again it will become 24.9 and the ac will again turn off now you all know that every time the air conditioner turns on it's a compressor it takes a huge amount of current and that amount of current actually is not very healthy current we don't want this ac to turn on and turn off every one or two minute so what we do is that we make a special adjustment we give a special dead band let us say the dead band is of 2 degree celsius that instead of turning on and turning off at 25 the ac should continue to cool the room till the temperature of the room becomes 24 degree celsius and then once the ac turns off then it should turn on only when the temperature is 26 degree celsius so it may take you know good amount of time it may take um, 7 minutes 10 minutes or for a bigger room it may take half an hour even in some cases that the ac will remain off for 15 minutes and then as it becomes 26 the temperature becomes 26 uh, ac will start and ac will continue to cool the room till it becomes 24 it may turn on it may remain on for a good 10 minutes or 15 minutes and only when it becomes 24 should it turn off so instead of turning on and turning off at exactly 25 we give a good amount of space between turning on and turning off this space is called neutral zone neutral zone means that in this neutral zone at the temperature 25 we will see that at 25 degree celsius when it was cooling down and ac was on it will remain on and after having reached 24 and it remains turn off while the temperature rises again at 25 degree celsius it was initially off it remains off it means that in this neutral zone it remains in the last state if it was on it remains on if it was off it remains off and this neutral zone is given some this is called a band it's also called dead band this band in this case is of 2 degree celsius for example this is given so that we don't have to turn the ac on and off on and off after every one minute we have to give a respectable uh, 10 15 minutes time for ac to turn on and off we don't want the ac compressor to be working that hard every time so to realize this kind of uh, two position controller what we do as you can see from here we give input the measured value in this case is v in 
this is Vn. And we see that right now, let us suppose that this entire thing is off. You can take example of AC, you can take example of heater depending upon the application. And we have given some set point, we have given some set point and the set point is VSP. We will see at what point will this turn on? What point will this V output shift from being 0 to V0? And initially, right now, we suppose that this V out is equal to 0 volt over here. The point of transition is what we shall be seeing. In, in this after analyzing the circuit we have taken this is resistance R this is resistance R these two are equal this resistance is R1 this resistance is R1 these two are equal but this R2 is not equal as equal to this R1 this R2 actually is variable you can increase or decrease this R2 it is not equal to R1 and we shall soon be knowing the reason why it is so my dear friends, let us have a kind of look uh, about this amplifier. This amplifier is acting as a summing amplifier. You have this input, whatsoever is input over here. That is available multiplied by R1 upon R1. And we have whatsoever is the input over here. That multiplied by R1 upon R2. This is R1 upon R2. So whatsoever is the voltage over here will be sum of V in into R1 by R1 that is again 1 that is V in plus whatsoever is the voltage available over here into R1 divided by R2 the sum of these two will be available over here this is acting as an inverter so the whole voltage will get multiplied by minus 1 this will be available at V1 and you have a comparator over here so whenever this entire voltage V1 it becomes greater than VSP. Whatsoever is the voltage V1, it becomes greater than VSP. In that case, this comparator will turn on. And once it is on, once it is on, then whenever this voltage V1, it becomes lesser than VSP, in that case, this comparator will turn off. So this is the basic principle. We will just see step by step, one by one, assuming that right now, this V output is equal to 0. So this 0 over here and you see this voltage is 0 at the summing of this point as well. So as this voltage is 0, this 0 multiplied by R1 upon R2 remains 0. So what you get over here is nothing but uh, minus VIN. Why minus? Because you know summing amplifier always uh, inverts the input and this minus VIN as it reaches V1, so V1 is nothing but VIN. So this is something very clear. It's very simple up to this point that V1 is equal to VIN. And uh, in case you're not able to look at, I make sure this is V1 over here. And what we see is that comparator is comparing, always comparing VIN with VSP. The moment this VIN becomes greater than VSP, at that point, the comparator is going to turn itself on. So the op amp will turn on when V in is greater than V S P. So this becomes the triggering point. This becomes the V H. We will see why we call it V H because this, this is the high uh, as, as it's moving high and high becoming more and more. That's the triggering point. We call it as V H and while coming back, it will become V L the lower point as such. We will see the diagram in the two slides thereafter but right now you can see that the triggering point is that when V in becomes greater than SP it means that VH the trigger point is equal to the limit for the higher transition taking place is equal to VSP whatsoever set point we have said VSP now the comparator has turned on and now we will be turning whatsoever it is it's let's say uh, if it is heater, we turn the heater off and then the temperature will stop uh, rising, rather it will start dropping. Let us see what happens next. So now we see we have the current slide where the comparator is on. At this point we see that 
the comparator is on. It means that the output of the comparator is given by V0. The output of the comparator as we see is given by V0 in this slide and this V0 is available at the summing input as V0 and this V0 and Vn will be getting added and Vn will be multiplied by R1 upon R1 that means 1 and V0 will be getting multiplied by R1 by R2 and both will be having a negative sign obviously because this summing amplifier also acts as a negative uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, amplification happens and this this is inverted by the inverter and ultimately the value of v1 my dear friends is now given by v in plus v naught multiplied by r1 by r2 so this is an additional term v naught into r1 by r2 and now for Whenever the value of this comparator at V1 becomes lesser than, it becomes lesser than the set point, the comparator will turn off. So this in V1 is now not V in. Last time it was V in, but this time it is V in plus this term. So this whole term, when it will become lesser than VSP, will the comparator turn off so means that the limit for the comparator to turn off is not vsp but as v in plus v naught into r1 upon r2 this becomes lesser than vsp that becomes the trigger point so we see from here that whenever v in becomes lesser than vsp minus VSP minus this is the additional term which is subtracted. It means that now the trigger point of turning the comparator off is not VSP but something lesser than VSP, and this is what is called dead band, and this is what is called neutral zone. So this point we will denote by VL and is given by VSP minus V0 into R1 upon R2. So let us see uh, how the comparator output behaves with respect to the uh, V in in the next slide. My dear friends, as you can see that as long as this V in is lesser than V H, V H as we see is given by V S P, the output remains off. Only at V H is equal to V S P, the output turns on. But once it has turned on, while coming back, as you see, it doesn't turn off, as in case of AC, it doesn't turn off at VH, but rather it turns off at VL. It turns off at VL. And this VL is not equal to VH, but rather this VL is given by SP minus this Term and this term can always be adjusted by adjusting R2. Again, let us see what happens. This is the case of, let us say, V in is the case of a temperature, and we are turning on and turning off AC air conditioner. We take VH is equal to, let us say, 26 degree, and we have adjusted R1 and R2 as equal to 24 degree. It means that the temperature is rising and the AC is off, the temperature is rising and AC is off. Only when the temperature becomes 26 degree, the AC turns on. And then because of thermal inertia and so on and so forth and because of the fact that the AC is on, it may go slightly above and then start falling down. And as it starts falling down, it becomes lesser than 26, AC doesn't turn off. We don't want AC to turn on and turn off at this point immediately. We let the temperature go down and down and down and down and it becomes 24. Only at 24, the AC turns off. So AC is turning off at 24, AC is turning on at 26. So this 2 degree gap, this 2 degree gap is what we call it as the neutral zone. It is deliberately introduced over here so that 
we do not have too frequent turning on and turning off of the AC to prevent the surge current in the AC and electrical whole uh, system is not loaded adversely. So this was about electronic two position control. I think you have understood it's working of fairly and, and in a manner that is comprehensible. In case you have any queries, you can always contact me through various means available WhatsApp or LMS or Zoom or face to face interaction or through telephones. I hope you have enjoyed the session knowing about not only the error detectors but also about the two position controllers which is being used for controlling many devices in either on or off position. I thank you for being with me once again and I wish you a very safe stay. Bye bye.